we have more discussion here of sinking U.S. Navy ships or aircraft carriers and once again in the South China Sea. Now, there's been talk about ramming ships, about hitting them with water cannons and doing all types of other things out here to try to deter ships from coming into Chinese waters. Now, China wants to try to clamp down and claim a lot of this area as their own. You can see here on the map a lot of these territories, a lot of the lines, a lot of the reserves that are in here, and then China coming down through here and is trying to claim as much as possible throughout a lot of these island chains. And what they've done is they've built up some of these areas that weren't even sticking out of the water. They've built them up to where they are sticking out of the water and put runways and bases and things like that on them and are fortifying this area heavily. Now, the United States came through here recently. There was a dispute, a back and forth, and there was some talk about what would happen next time if they tried to come back through. Well, one of these top dogs, Rear Admiral, out of the Chinese military, has basically stated that not just one, but two U.S. aircraft carriers <coughs> need to be sunk in the area, and that would end all the confrontation. So instead of just ramming them, now they're talking about sinking two, two aircraft carriers at that in the South China Sea and basically feel like they would win if they did that, or that would end the dispute. I wanted to make mention of it in case we see anything weird happen from here on out because we've seen some odd things happen with U.S. military ships in the past just out of nowhere. But I'm going to leave a link here so you guys can read up on the rest of the details and I'll continue to update with more info as I come across.